This is David Michael giving you an update here from Streaky Latvia on our fourth day of, well, what do we call it? <laughs> fourth day of English Bible Camp in Latvia. This is the director of East European Mission Network, Mr. David Bredenbach. Yes, sir. I said it right. You I've said been it calling you Bredenbacher. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like over that popcorn. That's not a problem. Okay. I grew up with that as a child. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. So, um, you have the interesting class this year. I do. In fact, this is your first time teaching in a while because usually you oversee most of the I am. Times. I'm usually the ambassador of EEMN, so I get to travel all over Eastern Europe. But this week, uh, we were able to bring a whole class of Belarusian students and import them to Latvia. Uh, it's illegal for us to do these camps in Belarus. And so we struck upon that idea. So I have 16 students from ages 10 to 19. So it's a very diverse class. And uh, then we have four Belarusian adults with one interpreter. But uh, we have had just a tremendous time this week. So um, if you were to kind of wrap up so far what's been going on since we started this week, uh, what's been your impression about our camp and especially because it is an international camp? It is, and we weren't sure what that dynamic was going to be, but uh, while we're teaching English, the emphasis is really on making relationships and introducing to many of the students for the very first time the idea of a God of love, grace, and mercy in Jesus Christ. And it's tremendous to see the lights go on for the children when, uh, when they experience that. In fact, we experienced that a week ago when we were in Albania, which was a whole different situation and culture. In fact, Kind of give a little bit of recap about Albania. Albania was tremendous. This is our first year in Albania, uh, and it's a unique country for us in that it's technically not part of the former Soviet Union, uh, but their, uh, their former dictator was a big fan of Chairman Mao as well as Stalin, and uh, so uh, I guess imitation and assistance here is to form a flattery, and so he replicated what he observed in the Soviet Union. Prior to that, you had the Ottoman Empire, and it simply enforced on the people that they are now Muslim. Today, in the 21st century, they are uh, only culturally Muslim. Uh, they follow a lot of the same traditions, but there, there's no tie-in with, with uh, a God at all. So they're really ignorant of, of God, but they're very open to learning. In fact, uh, when we were there, we, we were very sensitive to the culture and uh, the pastor really appreciated that we didn't come bashing with Jesus, but we came in with the compassion of Jesus. And uh, and we really emphasized the love of God, the friendship of God, which when it came to the songs, I don't think we've ever heard kids sing so loud before. It was incredible. It was like we thought the roof was going to come right off, you know. Some of us were brought to tears. And, yeah. And even the, the Albanian adults, they'd never heard the children sing with such joy in their hearts. And uh, that was something unique and, and a really magical moment. And so tonight you're going to have a special service for the Belarusian students? Correct. Uh, I mentioned that we couldn't teach this in Belarus, so we brought them here. About half of the students we have, this is their very first experience uh, with Scripture and, uh, and certainly with encountering uh, the love that we know through Christ. And so we wanted to have a special service for them uh, where they could really begin to explore uh, what that means. And so we're going to be focusing on the Beatitudes, and uh, we're quite excited to see how they experience uh, Christ through His Word. Awesome. Well, let's see. You take off on Sunday to head to Slovakia, Slovakia, while the team here will do one more week in Vlidine. Right. Then after that camp, I will join David in Slovakia, and we're doing another new right. thing. That we're doing a lot of new stuff. We this are. Year. God is so good. We're, uh, we're we're then going to Bulgaria, and uh, that's uh, another brand new country in the Balkans. And we're going to be working with teenagers. We're calling it a life and adventure teenage Bible camp. And rather than, than specifically teaching English, we're going to be looking at a lot of life's challenges and how you deal with that from a biblical perspective. Again, these are, these are new concepts, new ideas for many of the students. So we appreciate your prayers. Yes, we really do. We're, and uh, you know, again, thank you to all who have supported East European Mission Network and for us allowing us to do these ministries. I mean, we are definitely now going outside of Eastern Europe to the Balkans and, and uh, other countries probably in the future. Uh, Maybe a little role in Ukraine next year. We are we're tentatively planning to do uh, to return to Ukraine doing English Bible camps. 
working with teens that are uh, that have aged out of the orphanages in Ukraine. Very compelling, and uh, that will be a new challenge for us. But we're we're looking forward to it. So we got a lot of exciting stuff. So stay tuned and keep us in prayer. This is the fourth day of Bible Camp, and then tomorrow is our closing. And I know a lot of people are getting ready for their dramas and all that. They are. It will be exciting. I understand my class is going to have dancing Egyptians. So stay well, tuned. <laughs> okay. All right. That's it for now. Take care wherever you are. God bless. Bye.